regarding uh, player personnel for tomorrow? Uh, well, it looks like Shabbat's going to be uh, ready to go. So that's good. Um, Nielsen, uh, we pulled him out of practice because we, we knew before he's, he's got a little stomach bug, but uh, just pulling him out, just keep his energy for tomorrow. Uh, besides that, uh, Anderson's getting better. Falk is getting better. Um, obviously, Duchesne is back, and yeah. Besides that, uh, yeah. Is Ben Harper available tomorrow? Uh, he's getting better. I don't know that one yet, so I have to I have to check on that one. I know he was, I know he was doing very good. Um, yeah, on defense, we're gonna have uh, choices to make there for tomorrow. Should be, from from all I I gather, he should be. Uh, we were there. We were there. Like we were there. Um, so, waiting to see how it uh, how it developed and uh, today how he felt and uh, we'll see. But like I said, those injuries you gotta wait almost uh, late during the day or the next day to find out how it went. Um, so hopefully it continues to go well and maybe he's available this weekend. What are you expecting from your team coming off a pretty good road trip in California up against a, a very good line, one of the best games? Yeah, no, it's a dominating line. Uh, you saw yesterday they beat uh, Toronto there. Uh, so it's a, if you let those guys skate, you're you're done. So we have to be good when they're on the ice. We got to be aware, and uh, we'll see if we want to match up or or we're just going to play everybody against them. But uh, they're definitely, you know, they're like the Boston line, you know, uh, Krejci and uh, not Krejci, sorry, Bo uh, uh, Bergeron and uh, and the rest of the boys. But they. Uh, they're so good that they can win the game on their own. That's for sure. So we know that. So if, if we let those guys uh, have their fun and skate, they're going to take over. And uh, we certainly don't want that to happen. I thought we did a very good job on the road. Um, so there's no reason why we can't play well uh, at home. We all know that it's the first game after a long road trip. I saw it in practice. I saw it in practice today where, you, you know, the guys are pushing. But yeah, you can you can feel that. So hopefully by tomorrow, uh, you know, a bit more rest. And uh, the guys are, are got the same jump that we had on that road trip for sure is what we're looking for. I mean, it's it's like, the, you know, your number one goalie, your number one uh, defense, your number one uh, center. It's you're definitely a better team. Having said that, you know, I think Duchesne would be easier for him to come back, to be honest with you, because it's, 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 he played last week and um, didn't have an injury, so he should be jumping in there uh, and, and doing his thing. For Shabbat, he hasn't played for a long time, so you know, let's let's give him time to build it up. But yes, over the next games and uh, a little while, obviously, it's, it changes so much for us. It changes our transition, changes our breakouts, it changes our offensive zone, changes the power of play, and gives us a lot more possibilities to uh, to have offense for sure. I mean, a guy like that that plays 25 to 30 minutes with those abilities with the puck, it makes you a different team, that's for sure, with the puck. I mean, without the puck, um, I think everybody is right now uh, showing a, a great improvement. Uh, all those young guys have gotten so much better, so hopefully we can see that again uh, in, in the next game. And, and Shabbat's going to uh, you know, eventually get his timing back, and I'm sure he'll, he'll do well defensively too. But I think right now we have to understand he's been out for a little while, so his timing might be off in the first period, but probably slowly as the game goes on, gets his timing back and uh, it starts to look like himself. We'll see. We haven't made that decision yet because I wasn't sure who was available. So I was just told now that we got uh, uh, probably going to have green light for Shabbat. So right there, that's that changes things. And then I have to see for uh, for Falk and for Harbor. So uh, I don't know. We might go six. We might go seven. So we have, need to have uh, staff discussions on that. And we're going to look at their lineup uh, and how they play this afternoon. And uh, usually that's when we make our decisions. Yes. Just on Anderson, I mean, when that injury break, does it show the great unknown of that? It does. It, it does. I, you know, there's some really nasty injuries where guys are out for a full year, and those are those are bad because you know they're you know it's long. You know, but the Peugeot injury, that's. 
that was bad. But those injuries, you know, they can last just a few days or they can last way longer than you expected. And that's what's tough. You can't plan, you know, like, for instance, for Shabbat, it was clear, you know, it was going to be about three weeks. So you kind of plan around that and you take a lot of bad luck to really, you know, linger on more than that. But, you know, when you get concussions, uh, it, it can take a lot longer or sometimes the opposite. It looks like the worst concussion guy is knocked out. It looks like he's half dead there and all of a sudden, two days later, it feels great. Uh, and so it, it's they're, they're tough to understand and they're tough to predict and uh, that's why it's tough to deal with it because it's, it, and sometimes the player feels great, gets on the ice and all of a sudden at night, eight o'clock at night, all of a sudden starts to feel symptoms. So it's very difficult to monitor those. Yes. No, 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 because right now it's, 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 you know, he's, we're right in the middle of the protocol kind of, well, not the middle, we're towards the end of the protocol, but any day that it reverts back, it, it, you go back two, three days in the protocol. So that's where you got to wait and see, because now that's his first real practice. So you got, if, if it doesn't work out to go the way it needs to, then we're back three days, you know. Clearly there was some sort of setback before you left on my California Yes. Night, yes. Sunday morning, you yes. were quite optimistic. Yes. Sunday night, you were choosing your words carefully. Yeah. That's exactly what happened. So I would look fine, look fine, and all of a sudden, whoops, some symptoms showed up again. That's the problem with those uh, with those injuries. It's, it, you, you, you can't just look at what's happening on the moment. Sometimes it's clear a guy gets symptoms while he's doing exercise, but that's usually at the beginning of the, of, uh, of the protocol and the process of that recovery. So those are, those are, are clean ones. It's, it's later once you, you think you're progressing and also, whoops, you're, you thought you'd be progressing and you're not. You got to retract back. And I mean, they've developed a really clear protocol now. I think that everybody's been following uh, and it's, it's, it's clear the minute you get certain symptoms that you should go back to, but I mean, I'm not a doctor and I wouldn't pretend to be an expert at it. All I know is that that's, it, it varies a lot from one day to another. Oh, with our goal with it, Nelson, yes. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, that's, we need NHL goaltending. You, you, you got to, to win games in the NHL, you need NHL goaltending, you know, whether it's your number one and then your backup has to give you NHL backup minutes. It's, or else you can't win, really. That's what it is. Or, or you know, you win once every blue moon. Uh, and when you get a guy like Nielsen, you know, his first game he was nervous. You could see it. You know, his, the pucks were bobbling a little bit, and that was normal. Uh, but since then, it's, he's, he's, he's been solid, and we've been playing really good games. I mean, it's not just the saves or the goals against. It's uh, the rebounds, the rebound control. And so instead of having, you know, uh, seven or eight or nine more shots against with scoring chances that emanate from that, well, then he, he, he keeps the puck or deflects it in corners or deflects flex it outside, uh, manage the puck on you know, breakouts. Like it's huge. It's it's everything. It's like a quarterback in football and a pitcher in baseball. Like if you don't have that, you basically don't have anything. Really, it's it starts with that and it ends with that. And um, and he's done the he's done a really good job. He's really unlucky the last game against San Jose because he played well enough for us to win for sure. And and so you could see the the shot numbers too. Like it's, it's, you know, instead of having one or two or three extra rebounds for one shot, sometimes it stops at, at that one shot. It makes a gigantic difference. And that's why NHL goalies are NHL goalies. And that's why some some young guys or, or, or older guys that are not NHL caliber on a consistent basis, you know, it's, 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 it's different. And that's just the way it is. And uh, right now, for sure, you look at what Nielsen's done, you're hoping he can, he can do that uh, tomorrow for sure. He's, he's, he's done really well, so that's good for us.